Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. I'm Advait from Second B. Today we are here to share some interesting facts about the outermost layer of our planet Earth, which is one of the most important natural resources on Earth. Yes, that is the soil. Soil is a complex mixture of organic matter, minerals, and rocks. So, today, I am going to explain the structure of soil or the soil profile. If you look into a roadside cut or the cross section through the soil, this is the way how it looks. It has different layers. These layers are called soil horizons. Let me start from the top. This is the topmost layer. It is O-horizon and its name is humus. It's full of life. Plants, animals, birds and has rotting organic matter. Now the A-horizon, it is rich and dark in color with microorganisms and minerals and filled with the roots of plants and trees. Now the B horizon, before that, there is an amazing fact about the topsoil. If you take a tablespoon of topsoil, you can find microorganisms more in number than the people living on earth. Now, where am I on the B horizon? The B horizon is otherwise called as the subsoil. It has plentiful minerals with less organic matter. Now the sea horizon, rock fragments, it has rock fragments with less minerals. Now the underlying parent material, the D horizon, it's bedrock, it has just large, large pieces of rock with no organic matter. So an average soil sample is 45% minerals, 25% air, 25% water and 5% organic matter. So that's the soil profile. Have you ever wondered how the soil is formed? Let's just us about it. Soil is formed from the weathering of rocks. It is a combined effect of physical, chemical and biological process on soil. For explaining this, I have shown here the rock cycle. Let's have a close look. There are three types of rock, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Because of the heat and pressure under the earth's core, the bedrocks melt, then changes into magma, the magma cools down, crystallization of magma happens and that's how the igneous rock is formed. The igneous rock is otherwise the volcanic rock. Due, this is the same shown here. Due to heat and pressure, the volcanic eruption takes place. The magma flows out and cools down. And the igneous rock is formed on the surface. Same way, the other, the other bedrocks are uplifted to the surface. Uplifted to the surface. Then these surface rocks get weathered. Weathering means these surface rocks will break into small, small pieces. And affecting some there are five factors that are affecting this rock cycle is the acronym crop. C for climate, R for relief, O for organic organism, A for parent material, T for time. Now, these weathered rocks due to erosion get transported, deposited, precipitated, get mixed up with the organic matter and finally transformed into soil. 
this soil again due to erosion get transported settles down burial happens changes in the sedimentary rock due to heat and pressure the sedimentary rock can change into metamorphic the metamorphic can again melt and change into igneous rock this cycle takes millions and millions of years and again an amazing fact is that the sand you see on the beach today can become a piece of rock some day so now there is no wonder in calling soil as the most important natural resource on earth hats off to him god almighty who created such an amazing natural wonder on our mother earth thank you thank you so much any doubts please excellent thank you